Hey everyone, Chris here for Tuman's Guitars and Basses. Today is a big day for us here at Tuman. Finally, after many, many years, you can get Martin Guitars in our store, which is amazing. We love the brand, we love these guitars, and I'm personally really excited to uh, be able to use them, see them every day, and, uh, and all those things. So, what I want to do today is, well, actually it's two things. First of all, I just want to appreciate these guitars, show you the different models and what you can get out of them. And second of all, I want to get close to the Martin experience. Um, I want to see what is the Martin sound, the Martin feel, and um, we'll see how close we get to that by the end of this video. Let's start with the first model, which is the D10E. so lively and dynamic. That is the first thing that pops in my mind, dynamic range. Um, if you play softly, it's warm, vintage super sweet. And if you hit the strings hard, the volume is almost shocking, which is quite an experience actually. Uh, so this is the D10E. E stands for a pickup, electric, uh, which you also heard uh, throughout the playing part. Um, and the rest, this is the 10 series, really. What it is, is a Mexican-made, more affordable Martin, but still, it offers you solid wood. So this is solid sapelli on the sides and the back, solid spruce top. Um, it has a rich light fretboard, which is a modern feature, very solid, very practical, very good material for fretboards. Um, and obviously it's more controlled because it's a, an artificial material than if it was wood. Graftech nut, um, a really nice spec list really, what you get for around 1000 euros. Overall, it's a very solid guitar that gives me the impression of a much more expensive Martin, which is, it's not too bad. All right, let's move on to the next one, which is the SC13. E. This is the SC13E, which is an offset model, and it's a, it's a modern Martin, which they created for people who play on stage, people who play loud and want to plug the guitar in. Of course, you can get pickups in all other models as well, but this is something that's been created for volume, like really loud stages, etc. You will have less feedback issue with this uh, model, and you have an insane access to the upper frets. Like, it's literally... Look at this. This is such a, a cool, creative, modern design you don't really see on many acoustic guitars. Uh, they really went for it and, uh, and nailed the, uh, the electric guitar kind of playability on an acoustic guitar without sacrificing the tone. It does, of course, have um, a bit more scooped sound or, or uh, jingly sound compared to, for example, a traditional model, but it is a very, very pleasant tone. It still has tons of volume. The specs show exactly that this guitar was made for stage use. It has um, a solid spruce top, which is something that you want for a, a really pleasing acoustic guitar sound, but the sides and back are laminated, which, is, which gives you more stability and less 
feedback, obviously. This is even really sweet. It's a laminated core side and back, beautiful. And the rest of the specs are fairly traditional. Ebony bridge, ebony fretboard, um, and a bone nut, which is something that brings you back to traditional specs of Martin guitars. And it's a, a very reasonable, very clever mix of modern and vintage. And now let's move on to one of my favorite Martin models, the D18. And this is not just gonna be any D18, it's the modern deluxe. First thing is the D18, which is a traditional model at Martin. It's a dreadnought, of course, uh, same as the D10 that I showed at the beginning of this video, which is, by the way, a little history. Uh, that is a Martin shape. That's something that they came up with back in the days. And um, after they were really successful with that shape, others started making their dreadnought guitars. Let's put it this way. It's such an iconic mix having the Martin bracing, the Martin body shape, the dreadnought shape as well, etc. Uh, this is the simple flagship of Martins. Simple in terms of no crazy bindings and inlays, relatively simple, uh, but of course, top of the notch, like a flagship model, really. Uh, D stands for dreadnought and the modern deluxe series, what this guitar is, means that it has some modern tweaks to the traditional guitar that are supposed to make it even more impressive and even more, well, up to date. I'm talking about the treatment of the top. So this is of course a solid uh, spruce top and solid mahogany back and sides, uh, but the top has um, this treatment, which is something that's supposed to make the guitar sound like it's been played in for many, many years, already off the shelf, which is, I don't know, I don't, I don't have any comparison here now, but all I can say is that the guitar is, it, it's a different story. Like you play a C chord and you know, you know you're gonna love it. so many details and just so much sweetness in the tone it's and the rest of the features or specs are again a, a bit of both traditional and modern for example the bridge is ebony but the bridge pins are something that they call liquid metal which um, according to them really does a lot in terms of volume dynamic range, etc. Uh, I'm looking forward to testing that out in the future. Now that we have Martin guitars, I'm definitely gonna be trying those out. Uh, also, traditional fretboard, which is ebony, but the back of the neck is satin, which is again a modern feature. That's not something you've seen on uh, guitars in the past too often. Nowadays, that's more of a, a modern preferred feature. Really nice having it on the guitar. Bone nut, is again something traditional. So it's a perfect mixture of stuff that you really want to see on a D18 and some nice little tweaks that just make the guitar fresh in a way. Really, really cool. And now let's move on to the absolute flagship, the Triple O 42. <laughs>
The Triple O 42. It's one of Martin's flagships. It's an absolute beauty. It has all the traditional features, of course, of the 42 series, which means that it has a rosewood back and sides, the, uh, the spruce uh, top, ebony on the bridge and the fretboard, bone nut, nitro finish, of course, as the same as on the uh, D18. It's, um, it, it's such a nice balance I get with a nice triplo like this. It has the projection almost uh, of a dreadnought, but has that sweetness that I think is something that appeals to so many artists who go for like a triplo or the OM model. I'm talking John Mayer, I'm talking about Eric Clapton, of course. Let's sum it all up and let's try to put the Martin experience in words. Dynamic range, definitely one of the, the most important points when someone asks me about like, what is, what is it about Martin? Um, the warmness of each and every single note, whether it's literally just a high pitched single note or a full chord strumming or finger picking, there's always that sweet mid range, that warm tone that is just so appealing and so recognizable, um, regardless of the shape and the model. I mean, this model, is the, the D10 is the most affordable out of this, out of these four guitars. And I had the same experience, at least the core of the tone was pretty much the same. And, and that is very, very interesting to see. And also um, a very good sign because that makes this guitar like a lot of guitar for the money. Let's put it this way. If you want one of the more traditional flagship models, that's gonna be a much higher price tag, of course. But what you also buy is, uh, is well, history, really. So it is really um, an emotional day for me today to hold these guitars in my hands. Um, and on top of being excited about what I'm hearing and what my fingers get to experience, it's just that, that little historical emotional charge that, that surrounds the brand, of course. And um, you cannot... You cannot not see that or not feel that and that's a part of the experience really. All right, let me know in the comments below what you think about these four guitars, Martin guitars in general. Maybe you have one and maybe you want to share your experience with, uh, with your guitar. Meet you down there in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.